In this video about solar radiation analysis in Ecotech, you will learn how to do analysis of solar exposure, how to subdivide your surfaces, and how to calculate incident solar radiation on your building. And you will also get insights on analysis results and how this result has impacted this actual design project from Henning Larsen Architects. I have now opened the Ecotech environment and one of the reasons for doing solar radiation studies with inside Ecotech and not Vasari or Revit is that we are able to control the results and the scale a bit more effective in here which allows us to use the output a bit more effectively and specialize. So if we go to display settings and we look at object attributes this is really where we can visualize radiation with inside Ecotech. So let's, this is really from a simulation, previous simulation. So let's turn on the average daily values. Let's go to display settings and see that the way that we control this is really by the object attributes. We can turn on text values, we can show vectors to show where we have the most extreme condition throughout the year, and we can of course work with the scale, which is something quite unique with inside Ecotech. So let's say we want to have between 350 and 1000 watts per square meter and visualize that. The intent of this project here, which is an office building in Stuttgart made by Henning Larsen Architect, was that in Nordic countries we really want to have a good balance because there's really a connection between heat coming from the sun and light coming from the sun, which is obvious. So radiation studies allows us not only to look at how much heat will have an incident with the different facades and roofs and elements of our building, but also to determine where we'll have some of the extreme conditions in regarding to daylight factors and light levels within inside the building. So it's not only looking at the outside, it's really also understanding the interior layout of the building, placing heat producing rooms and spaces and functions in the north side and really using the south and east and west side to have more open environments where we can use the daylight within inside the building. And of course we can use this to kind of plan where to put solar panels and stuff like that. But this project here, the main design intent with this project was to really make the facade a bit more closed where we have a lot of radiation and making it a bit more open where we have less radiation to really have some more light coming in and thereby reduce the amount of energy that we'll need to light up our building with, with electric lighting and in the same time reduce the amount of discomfort because of heat coming from the sun and penetrating the room on the side. Outside. So really that was the intent and if we turn on the windows and the facade you'll see that this is really what we tried to do of course in relation to the overall intent with the project. So the facade here is really consisting of placing and closed panels where we place solar panels at the places where we'll have a lot of radiation and just closed panels on other places of the building. So you'll see as well here on the, the north side that we're placing big windows here. So it's just pretty simple and pretty logical to understand. So <coughs> I'm just going to take this simple model to really get you started with how this is working. So just made a really simple model here and with a, some context buildings and what I did was really to go in and subdivide these surfaces to have some more measuring points. Each of these surfaces here are measuring points. And then I go to calculate and so solar access analysis which is the way that you look at solar radiation with inside Ecotech. And I'm using the incident solar radiation and the, the sunlight hours down here, that, that the main that I'm using, but of course you can do before and after comparisons and stuff like that. But for looking at the interior sp exterior spaces here, it might be incident solar radiation you want to look for. So let's turn that off. And you can of course apply and do simulations for a current date and time, which allows you to really just scroll here for the specific date and watch that amount of radiation instantly. I'm using this for a specific period and I'm just going to look at the whole year at the time span where we're using the building. And I'm going to look at the average daily values which give us a sense of where to place things and what kind of radius we want for our glazing. So I'm just going to say cancel and I want to select 
because I want to do for all of these objects here. Just select objects on, go back, calculating solar access analysis, incident radiation, specified period, all year, average values, selected object. Okay. And the first time you do this, you have to perform a detailed shading calculation. And that's why Ecotech isn't that effective because it takes a lot of time. But if we're using this shading mask here, it's very fast to do the simulation. And we can now go down to, to our scale and say, okay, we want to see where this 0 to 750 maybe like that and we can go to the visualize tab and we can now visualize this on our project let's say just to 350 and just 1000 here so we're now able to use the simulation to determine placement of solar panels placing radios to make the facade a bit more closed where we have a lot of radiation and to open it up to have more daylight coming in without having any kind of discomfort to our building so this is really just a basic and a great thing is that you can go to properties and you can just say analyze data and it will make this very cool graph that you don't have to set up you can just use it directly it calculates the maximum and minimum values and you can take this out to excel for doing comparisons numeric comparisons of different designs